Welcome to today's video. We will explore the apply to each loop. Your new best friend for repetitive task. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of Power Automate. Buckle up because after this you will be the automation wizard of your office. And if not, at least you will be the one everyone emails when they get struck. For any power platform related queries, you can contact us through our website, email or phone. Now, what is apply to each loop? The apply to each loop is powerful tool in Power Automate that lets you go through a list of item one by one or array of item one by one. It helps you perform action on each item individually, like sending a custom email or processing data. This is especially useful for tasks that needs to be done in bulk, such as notifying multiple people or updating records. In short, the apply to each loop makes it easy to automate repetitive tasks efficiently and save you time by handling each item automatically. Now, why use apply to each loop? Why should you care about the apply to each loop? Well, if you have ever wished for an extra pair of hands to tackle a repetitive task, this is your magic solution. The apply to each loop is incredibly useful when you want to handle repetitive tasks efficiently. First, it simplifies repetitive tasks by automating actions that would otherwise be manual, making your workflow smoother. Second, it saves time and reduces errors. Automating each step means you are less likely to miss an item or make a mistake. Finally, it enables batch processing so you can work with multiple items at once without setting up actions for each one individually. Overall, the apply to each loop streamlines your work and makes handling large amount of data much easier. Think of it as your personal assistant tirelessly working through your to-do list while you kick back and relax just without the coffee's run. Now we are going to work on a relatable example. You need to remind everyone about their task instead of saying please check your email a hundred times in the chat. Let Power Automate handle it while you enjoy your coffee break. So for this example we have already created a SharePoint list where we track task. Each task has status, open, close or in progress, right? And an assign to field is assign to field to show who's responsible. Our goal is to filter only the tasks that are open. So we have three open tasks here. And now if we see the first task is assigned to Alex, then Adel and then Voxus, right? So our goal is to filter only the tasks that are open and automatically send an email to each assigned person to remind them about their pending task. Let's quickly create a Power Automate flow. This time I am going to choose schedule called cloud flow and the flow name we are going to name it. We are going to name it send task reminders for open items in SharePoint. And our flow is going to start every day, uh, uh, every day, okay. And it will start at 10 a.m. And now I'm going to click on create. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add an action, click on add. Add an action and get items. Get items. Sorry, items. 
and I am going to choose the SharePoint action get items. Okay, and our SharePoint site address is going to be Voxus tab because my SharePoint list is in this site and our site name is project task yes project task right now what we are going to do so we have added get item section this action pulls all items from our SharePoint list but we only want tasks that are open to do that let's add an OData filter query in the filter query box uh, 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 okay so just click on show all and in the filter query box what we are going to add here let's status z to e and then just status we are going to copy the logical name from here and eq open right now what we are going to do is click on this column and column setting add it and i'm going to copy the open from here and just going to paste here right okay now let's save our power automate flow so in this filter query we have type type status eq open this tells power automate to only retrieve task with the status of open this filter is key because it makes sure our flow is only processing relevance item which helps improve efficiency now let's see how apply to each or for each the new microsoft terms work right now we are going to add an action here and we are going to add send an email v2 action okay now click on send an email v2 and to whom we are going to send email so we are going to send email to assign to right now we can see lx idle and box right we are going to send email to assign to now just click on your action and click on to click on switch to advance mode and let's pick our assign to from our last action right assign to assign to email now magic is going to happen once i select assign to email this send an email v2 action is going to insight apply to each automatically let's see let's click on assign to email right boom so when i selected the assign to email field for the send an email v2 action power automate recognized that this field contains multiple potential values because it's connected to our list of tasks right each task has a unique assigned to person and power automate needs to handle each one separately to make sure the email is sent to each assigned person individually it automatically wraps the email action in apply to each or the microsoft's new terms for each for each loop this loop tells power automate to go through each task take the assigned to email for that specific task and send a customized email this way each person assigned to an open task will get their own reminder right let's add subject and body for the email right so our subject is going to be a reminder and then task and we are going to get title right from get items title and now in body what we are going to do hello right and signed to name we are going to, to display name okay and this is a reminder that you have an open task assigned to you. Please review the details below. Right. And task title. Right. Task title is going to be. Uh, 
title from our last title from get items and due date so due date is going to be due date for that record and description is going to be description description right and please ensure this pass is completed by the due date if you have any questions or need assistance Now that we have added the email action inside the apply to each or for each, right? Here is what's going to be happen, right? This loop will go through all the tasks with an open status by one by one for each task Power Automate will take the details like the title, due date and description and send a customized email to the assigned person. This setup means every assigned person will receive an email specific to their task with all the necessary information they need to act on it. So instead of manually sending reminders, our flow automatically handles each task individually, ensuring that every open item get its own personalized reminder sent to the right person. Now let's quickly test our power automate flow just click on test and manually and test right click on run flow done so it is going to process three items three open items because one open open and open right there there are three open items and i can see voxus technology is also part of one open item right now let's uh, oh, okay, now we can see here for each process three items, right? Because there are three open items in SharePoint list. Now let's see our email. Now I can see reminder. Reminder task SEO optimization, right? As the task name is SEO optimization for boxes, right? That's correct. And this is reminder that you have the open task assigned to you. Please review the details below. Task title SEO optimization. That is correct. Due date is 11.4. Let's see. Yes, we can see it's correct. And description update site keywords and description for SEO. Let's see the description. Yeah, update the keywords and the description for SEO. That's correct. Now we have seen. Uh, the email which Voxus received. Now let's see the email uh, received by Alex, right? Because there is uh, one open item for Alex also. So I am logged in with Alex account. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open Outlook. Now here is the outlook of Alex. Now we can see this is the email address of Alex. Now let's see the email like Alex. Hello Alex, the name of the user assigned to user. And this is the reminder that task assigned to you. Please review the details below. below. Task title is client feedback, right? Now if you see client feedback, uh, client feedback. Let's see uh, Alex. This one is the open item for Alex. Now we can see the client feedback. Yes, the correct title sent to the Alex. So here are some common pitfalls and best practices. 
of the famous why isn't this working moment to dodge that make sure your data is an empty think of it like baking cookies if you don't have dough you are just preheating an empty oven here are pro tips filter your data so your loop doesn't end up looking like rush hour traffic it's like giving your flow a double espresso shot need more help or just want to say hi we would love to hear from you even if it is just to share your apply to each victory story thank you for watching this video